Introducing Desktop Estimator Bill of Materials Software The Ultimate Trades Tool Simple yet powerful Perfect for the professional subcontractor or supplier Dependable Bill of Materials Consistent Takeoffs Fast and Accurate Bids More takeoffs equal more bidding, equals more jobs, and isn't that what we all want? Now, you do notice that there is a waste factor, and on this one we've added a 5%. It is adjustable. You'll add your description of your first wall. This one would just say an exterior wall. And our stud size will be a 2x6, and material type an SPF. Now these drop boxes are consistent throughout the program. You'll choose a bottom shoe quantity, the type, and let's change this one to pressure treated, your order length, move over to the top plate and blocking with the quantity, the type, and the order length. Next we'll move over to the stud wall. Note no pre-cut studs here. All in two foot increments please. You'll add your wall spacing, the length of the wall in feet. On this one let's say it's 132 feet. The rows blocking, the corner count, all your intersect counts, the openings, which are your doors and windows, and the wall sections. Let's move over to the hardware, and again we'll utilize those drop-down boxes. And for our example, let's choose on the lower wall an SP1, Note your space in inches, and on the upper wall, we'll make that an SP2, again with your space in inches. The next section is the sheathing and insulation. What we're going to do is pick out our exterior sheathing, and for our example, let's choose a half inch CDX. So under Finish Layer, we'll use our drop-down box, scroll down till you see the type of the layer finish that you want, add your height, the finish level, and the texture type. You do have the choice of adding a sublayer here if you like. With the finished layer, then we'll move over to the insulation. And again, in the height, your interior or side B sheathing. Let's say it's a half inch. And in the height, the finish level, I'll choose a level 4. You do have the choice of a texture. And again, we'll move over if you have a sublayer. Once all of your information is loaded into the program, we'll move down, click on the wood framing L&M, this little button, you'll take out all the zeros, hit OK, and what you're left with is an accurate bill of materials. You do have the place where you can add all of your material cost, and yes, it's just that simple.